Wonderful to see everyone. My name is Tammy. Thank you for joining me and sharing your practice. I prepared a gentle half a yoga class for us to enjoy, to find relaxation, calm, and improve our flexibility. Also, if you are new to happy yoga or starting up again, this will be a nice way to get back into it. So come and join me on the mat in standing. Yes, standing at first, and then we'll make our way down to the ground with your ankles, knees, and hips. In line with each other, we stand tall. Inhale breath, draw the arms up overhead, and exhale breath, bring the arms down. Inhale breath, draw your arms up overhead. Exhale breath, arms down. You may also do this seated on a chair. Inhale breath, Draw your arms up overhead. Exhale breath, arms down. One more time through. We draw our, our arms up overhead. And exhale breath, arms down. It is a Ujjayi breath that we are working with. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Place one hand onto the chest, one onto your belly. I'd like you to feel your breath, the rise and fall of your chest, your belly with your inhale. Exhale breath, let go. Sinking. Inhale breath, open. Exhale breath, let go. Sink. Inhale. Exhale, breath, let go. Sink again. Hold here. Open up your eyes. Place your arms down by the sides of your body. Placing one hand onto your belly. Take your other arm behind and your palm faces away towards the back. Again, you can be seated on a chair. To do this. We lift, stand tall, draw your ear, left ear, down to the shoulder. So the same side as me. I'm hoping that is your left. <laughs> Close your eyes. Nice stretch into our neck. Remember everything is nice and gentle here. So the stretch is about seven out of 10, not all the way that you're dropping that ear and really thinking, oh my goodness, this is a big stretch. Just nice and gentle. Bring the head back up, release your arms, and then place your other hand on the chest, other hand wraps behind, palm faces away. You stand tall again. Tip your ear to the shoulder. Close your eyes, stretching into the other side of the neck. Taking your head back up to center, arms down by the sides, thumbs face forward. Roll the shoulders back. yourself smile. Keep working through the breath, engaging your bandhas, drawing the navel in towards the spine. Lift up to the pelvic floor muscles, stand tall, tailbone down towards the ground. Take your hands onto the hips, take your feet wider, Bend your hips now, bend through the knees. Little circle with our hips. 
Now, sometimes we do this when we're on all fours, but standing is nice to try. Let's circle the other way. Soft knees coming around. Nice mobility through our pelvis and we hold center. Take your ankles, knees and hips in line with each other again. A side bend, arms by the side of the body. We'll turn this way now so you can see me this way. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, come intertwine your fingers, sorry, and come up and over to the side. Elongate through the waist. For both sides, your, your arms are by your ears. Keep breathing. With the next inhale breath, you make your way back up to center. Exhale, dive forward, let the head hang. Knees are bent, we hang. Let your head go. Inhale, breath, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, fold, your head hangs again. And inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, come down one more time. Inhale, come up to halfway lift. Exhale, release, and then inhale all the way up, coming up with your arms up overhead, intertwine your fingers, and exhale, come up and over to the other side, side bend. Again, we're long through the waist. Keep breathing. Arms by your ears. With the next inhale breath, you make your way back up. Exhale breath, dive forward like we did before. Our head hangs. Let the head hang and hang, hold on to opposite elbows in a sway, side to side. Continue to engage your us. Your energy blocks, navel being drawn in. Release the arms, center, inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, hold. Inhale, all the way up, arms up, overhead, and exhale, release. I'll turn to face the front again so you can see me. Crossing your arm, oops, <laughs> here. Crossing your arm over your chest. Take your other hand, place it onto the forearm. It could be a little bit higher, release through the shoulders. So take those shoulders away from the ears. Stretching to the back of the shoulder. You may feel this into the collarbone too. So collarbones actually, both sides, nice stretch. Opening up your eyes. Release your arm, crossing your other arm in front, and gently place your hand in front and hold. Close your eyes if you like, your choice. Slowly release. Open up through the legs. Come into a side bend here. Bring your arm up and over. Come up and over to the side. Relax through the shoulders, long through the waist. Breathing. With the inhale breath, you make your way back up. And exhale breath, arm by the side. I'll count out the breaths now. Inhale, sweep your left other arm over and exhale. Come down to the side. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hold. Inhale, breath, make your way back up. And exhale, release. Bend through the knees, step your feet in. Roll back through the shoulders. Just like we did before.
Very nice. Okay, opening up the legs again. Into five pointed star. We hold. Take the arms down and heel toe your feet out so that your toes are out, turning out. Back to five pointed star. And then to goddess. Our knees are not turning in, we turn them out. Nice tracking here so we don't hurt our knees and into goddess. We love this one. This is a nice strong pose. It is confidence. It is great for your posture. Slowly come back up, five pointed star. Continue to show that strength back to goddess. Turning those knees out, five pointed star. Last time for goddess, stand tall, and lift, nice. Okay, bend through the knees and step to the top of the mat and hold here, right at the top of the mat. Ankles, knees, and hips in line with each other. Place your right hand onto your shoulder and tip your left ear to the side. So you can turn to just so you can see what I, what I look like. Take your head back up and hold. Take your hand down. Other side, take your left hand onto the shoulder and tip right ear to the shoulder. Take your head back. Roll your shoulders back once, and then I'll show you another way to do it. I showed you the harder way to do it first for that. <laughs> stretch into our neck. One more stretch through our neck. You will cross your arm over the chest like this. Then tip your right ear to the shoulder. Now this might work a little bit better for you maybe not though could be could maybe even feel pinching into your shoulder here to your rotator cuff so just being careful you don't even have to cross your arm over your chest you may just do the tip of the ear to the shoulder bringing the head back up release your arm cross your left arm over your chest Place your hand onto the shoulder and tip your ear to the other side. Bringing your head back up, roll once back through the shoulders. Ankles, knees, hips in line with each other again. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, take your hands down to the ground, into plank. Hold plank here. Take the knees down to the ground, uncurl the toes, sit back into child's pose. If child's pose doesn't work for you because of knees, you may uh, roll over to the side of your body or to your back. You can also, of course, sit on that chair and fold forward. Coming to all fours, toes down towards the ground. A little twist here. Take your right arm up and twist and open up your body. I can see you. <laughs> and slowly take your arm back. 
to the other side and take your arm up just the point that it works for you a little twist this is a bigger twist and slowly release now if you notice any kind of pinching into the back of your shoulder which some of us might because into the shoulder into your shoulder blades it's always definitely it's lots of overuse for us so let's stretch those out take your right arm and threading the needle come between our arm and our leg and turn your head towards the left side Inhale, breath, making your way back up. Exhale, breath, take your hands out to the ground. Into the other side, left arm, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, threading the needle and turn your body towards the right. Inhale, breath, making your way back up. Exhale, breath, take your hand down. Uncurl the toes, sit back, get into child's pose again. So we make your way back up into puppy. Step forward with the right hand, nice big step forward. Step forward with the left hand, draw your heart down. Your pelvis goes over top of, of your knees. Take those arms forward. We're going to get a stretch into our shoulder blades, into our upper part of our back. Let the forehead rest on the ground. Inhale, make your way back up to all fours. Remember I said when we opened up our, our body and then you're lifting up through your arm, nice and straight, you could have had that pinching into, into your shoulder blades. Let's try it this way here, placing your right hand onto the back of the head and inhale, open just a little ways and then exhale, close. And do a little twist here, rotation. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And a little twist, rotation to the other side. Inhale, open. Exhale, close, twist. And place your hand back down to the ground. So I hope that one was a little bit better when we, when we opened up through our lower back here and upper part of our back. Okay, other side, place your hand to the back of the head. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist, close. One more time. Exhale, close. And release. Take your hands both down to the ground. Step forward with the right hand and left hand. Back into downward, or we can do downward facing dog, did we? Down facing dog. Alternate knee bends. Okay, hold. Bend through the knees. Look to the hands. Walk the feet forward, top of the mat. Ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Engage your bandhas, feel your foundation, and inhale, come up to half the lift. Exhale, release, fold your head hangs. Inhale, sweep your arms up, overhead, and exhale, hands to the heart center. Standing for camel, place your hands into the small of your back, and your fingers point down. Tailbone down, stand tall. 
opening up through our chest. You may be in Tadasana too, if this is maybe a little bit too big of an opening into our shoulder. Remember shoulders, always so many <laughs> overuse issues, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, so many things that we do. May we come into a little back bend here. Shine your heart up towards the sky. Elongating through the spine. And slowly release. Inhale, breath, arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Bend through the knees, hinge the hips, and inhale, come up to halfway lift, pop back. Exhale, take the hands down to the ground. Step back with the right foot, left foot. We have plank, we hold. Come down to the knees. Take your knees, so step your hands back. One step, and then next step, the other hand. Take your knees out. So turning the knees out, uncurl the toes, sit back into the heels, into child's pose. We stretch into the hips with having them a little bit open. You may take your arms forward, drawing your forehead down to the ground. If this doesn't work for the knees, on the side of the body, onto your back, sitting on a chair, folding forward. Slowly make your way back up, all fours, and turn the legs coming towards the front of the mat. Remove the fleshy part from your bottom, you sit tall. Take the right leg up, cross your right leg over top of the left leg, sitting up tall. Take your right hand down, adding a twist with a nice inhale breath, draw your heart up. Exhale breath, rotate through your spine. Left toes up towards the sky, looking over the shoulder. Inhale, sitting tall. Exhale, you may come into the twist a little bit more. The exhale breath leads us back towards the center. Twist over to the twist of the other side. And come back. Center, and cross. Take your leg, other leg up and over. Sit tall. Take your left hand down towards the ground. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, rotate to the left. This is a nice twist into our spine. So you may notice that we're stretching to the outside of the hip too. Right toes up towards the sky. Making our way back with the exhale breath. Twisting to the other side, just nice and gentle, and then make your way back towards the center. Arm cross. Take the right foot into the inner thigh. Sit tall. Fold forward. You may have a blanket, rolled up blanket underneath of the knee. You may also use a band. We'll use a band. In a little bit for a few different poses. Relax the shoulders or strap the knees. With the inhale breath, make your way back up. Exhale breath, release into the other side. Sit tall again, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Focusing on your breath. Inhaling. And exhale. The inhale breath 
brings us back up. And exhale, release, bending through the knees, take your feet wider than the hips, and windshield wiper, maybe side to side. And fold. The next sage pose we'll do is taking the right foot and hold the leg, place it over top of the knee, and lift up again, lift the foot up and hold. Lift your leg up, I should say. We're holding underneath of the ankle, and then just out. Bottom of the leg. Slowly release into the other side. Lift up your left leg, holding at the ankle. So keeping the ankle straight. Place it down, press it over the right knee, and then lift up again, hold. Slowly release. Okay, figure four, we'll do it uh, sitting instead of lying on our back, and then we'll come to lying on our back in a moment. Take the hands behind, bending both of the knees. Now, sometimes it's easier to take your legs a little bit further away and cross your right ankle over top of the left knee and then pull it in. You could also do the version that I just showed you too. So getting a little bit of a deeper stretch into outside of our right hip here. Draw your heart up to the sky, pushing away from the floor. When we release, you may slide, gently slide your heel away and come across, taking your left foot, place it over top the right knee and pull the right foot back. We will do this one on the floor too. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> seated. I know this is gentle, <laughs> but seated. Sometimes it doesn't work for us. It's just all these, you know, different ways to do it, which is good. Then you have options. And I really like doing this one when I am on a chair, seated. Um, sitting on a chair, and I really like to do it this way. Yes, I will teach a, <laughs> a class sitting on a chair. I think you'll like it too. Okay, release. Come over to all fours. Ah, step forward with the right hand, left hand, and into downward facing dog. Ah, nice. Bend through the knees. Roll up to the side of your body. And now onto our backs, so making your way down, all the way down towards the ground. Roll over to your back here. Shall we do figure four here? Take the pressure off the hands. So off of the wrists. Crossing your right ankle over top of the left knee. And again, you may do it on a, on a chair too. Wrap your hands, arms around the left leg and bring your foot off the floor, flexing both of the feet. And hold. Close your eyes. Hear your breath. Slowly release, take the foot down towards the ground. Yeah, uncross. Cross your left ankle over the right knee. We hold. And take your right foot off the floor. Wrap your hands around. Right leg, flex both feet.
slowly release. You can put down to the ground. Keep your other foot down to the ground and hold. Uh, slide your heels away on the ground. Nice and long. I want you here to notice your lower back. Is your lower back really lifting off of the ground or not? I always have to be careful because I will tip my tailbone out. So I need to always be watching that and pulling, drawing my navel in towards the spine. Now to help, we can squeeze our glutes and then release. Do that again, squeeze your glutes and release. One more time, squeeze your glutes. Release. Slide your right heel and the left heel back. Take that pressure off of the lower back. If you notice that it was really lifting. Draw the right knee, left knee in towards the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. To dead bug, legs up. Nice and straight, arms up, nice and straight. Taking the right arm, left leg away from the bottle, body. You really need to engage your bandhas here. Inhale, draw the arm leg away, and exhale, pull back. Other side, off of the side, inhale, lengthen away, exhale, pull back. doing this. I never said, you're probably wondering. <laughs> Just trying not to talk that much. If you flex your feet, it will also help for making this movement stronger. We're pulling more in towards the center. One more time on each side. And pull, bend through the knees, tuck those knees in. Take your right foot down, left foot down to the ground. Cross your right ankle over top of the left knee, wrap your hands around the left leg. Take your legs up and over to the left side. Hold on to your ankle, the left hand. Draw your heel in towards, towards the, right, the waist. The goal is to have your right knee up towards the sky. Take your right arm open in line with your shoulder. You may turn your head the opposite way of your leg. Nice little stretch through the outside of our right hip into your thigh also. Turn the head back to the center. Legs come back towards the center. Uncross the ankle, cross your left ankle with the right knee. Threading the needle, take your leg off, take your foot off the ground. Take your legs up and over to the right side. Hold on to the ankle. Draw your heel in towards the waist. Left arm opens up to shoulder height. Turn your head the opposite way. Knee again, pointing up towards the sky. Head back to the center, legs come back to the center, both knees in towards the chest, give yourself a squeeze.
Take the right foot down, the left foot down towards the ground. A little climbing up a rope, one hand after the other. So engage your bandhas and lifting your head and shoulder blades off the floor. We climb the rope, we climb up, two, three, and come down. Again, climb up, two, three, make your way down. Keep climbing up, alternating sides. Two more. Keep breathing. And release. Take both knees in towards the chest. We hold. Then take your knees to a 90 degree angle. Flexing both of your feet. Place your hands down towards the ground. Alternating heel drops. Inhale. Take the right heel down to the ground. Exhale, pull back. Other side, inhale, draw the heel down, and exhale, pull back. Keep alternating sides. Keep breathing. Pull the navel in one more time on each side. Draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze. Take the left foot down to the ground. Take your right leg up. Right bend to the knee. And release, take your foot down. Other side, lift your left leg up. Right bend to the knee. And release, take your foot down. If you have your strap or your band handy, uh, house bow tie, but please get that right now. We'll place a uh, band, strap, house bow tie, whatever it is, a dish, a dish towel too, underneath of our feet, bringing both legs up into the air, and hold on to our strap. Toes down towards you, stretching to our hamstrings. Releasing your left foot from the band, take your foot down, slide your heel away, hold. Hold on to the band with your right hand. Open up the right leg to the side. Place your left hand onto the hip. So. That may stretch into our inner thighs here. Take the leg back. Hold on to the band with your other hand and lift your leg up and over. Flex the body. Your right arm can come to shoulder height and turn your head. Flex your foot so we can get the stretch into our, into our calf muscle too. Head comes back. Leg comes back. Slide your left heel back and put your foot in towards the strap. Hold. 
Remove the right foot, slide your leg away, place it straight on the ground, hold on to your strap, the ground. Feel a stretch through the hamstrings. Hold on to your strap with your left hand and open up the leg. Press it left. Place your right hand onto the, the hip. Great stretch into your inner thighs. Keep the leg back towards the center. Hold on to the strap with your right hand and cross your leg up and over. Left arm comes in line with your shoulder, turn your head the opposite way. Flex your foot. Keep your head back towards the center, leg comes back. Place your right foot in towards the band, hold, legs up the wall. Get the blood flowing back to our heart here. The easier way to do it, with legs coming up. Let your lower back settle into the ground. You don't need to hold on to the band very tightly. Slowly releasing, taking your strap away, your band away, and taking your feet back down towards the ground, one foot, then the other. Hold, take your feet wider than the hips, windshield wiper, knees side to side. back to the center. Take both knees into the chest. Take your legs up and over to the left side, arms in line with your shoulders. Turn your head the opposite way. And back to the center with using your bandhas, you draw your knees back towards the center. Legs come up, up and over to the other side. Take your arms in line with the shoulders. Turn your head the opposite way. Head comes back towards the center. Pull the legs back. Face the strong knees into the chest. A squeeze. One more. Pose before Shavasana. Take the right leg up and over. Cross it over top of the left knee. Your legs may hang down like this. You can hold on behind, behind your knees here. I know where it's easy or to do so, or you may hold on to the ankles and pull down. Feeling this stretch through outside of the right hip. Slowly release into the other side. And cross and then cross. Left leg up and over top of the right. Hold behind or the ankles. And so left side narrow stretch.
and slowly release. And cross, knees into the chest. Right foot down, left foot down, and hold for a moment. Shavasana. Our final pose. Lying on your back with knees bent or legs straight. You can have legs up the wall. I've used my spars here. Or you make an incline. We'll come to seated. We'll all come into meditation. So you may want to place a nice blanket over top of your, your body, something warm. Now, the more that you open up your body, so taking your hands a little bit farther away from your body, the more vulnerable you could feel. So we take notice. We're not striving to be anywhere or to change anything. Letting ourselves be. Taking notice of Maybe how we're feeling. The kind of, kind of sensations running through our body. Our breath softens. And our lips part. Letting your thoughts pass by one by one, not focusing on one. I will call you back when it is time.
slowly starting to come back. Noticing the surface you are lying on. Noticing your breath. Sounds around you. Feeling the calm. Feeling the calm starting from your center. Let calm spread out. Up towards your limbs and letting that calm surround you. Starting to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Deeper breath. Longer breath, inhaling. And exhaling, letting go. Shift through the body. We bend, if you're lying on your back, you may bend the right leg, left leg. Take the right arm overhead and roll over to your right side to fetal. We take a moment and then make your way back up. Sitting in easy pose or comfortable seated pose that you like for yourself. Placing your hands to your heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Being gentle with yourself as we move forward. Namaste.